Okay, let's stop glamorizing and moving to Africa, right? So, um, I sent a message the other day to someone I hadn't talked to in about three years, and I said, oh, how are you? She said, I'm good, so is you. I said, I'm great. She said, um, where are you at now? Are you still in Atlanta? I said, no, I'm in East Africa. And she said, oh, I was thinking about moving to Africa. And I kind of winced when she said that. Because this is the thing. Living in Africa is not for everybody. Okay? Living in Africa is not for everybody. There are a unique set of challenges that you will experience living on the continent that you did not grow up with. For example, things of convenience. That's one things that you need conveniently that you can maybe get from the convenience store you may not be able to find that um you know some triscuits you're not gonna find that here uh wheat thins you're not gonna find that here if you need focalin okay for your adhd you're not gonna find that here either um the convenience store that you will find will not be carrying your branded always menstrual pads like you may not be able to find Tylenol milligrams the way you want it like there's just basic things that are convenience items that you are not going to be able to find just sitting around at your local convenience shop because it's not like that um, things like professionalism so this morning I rented a car okay we rented it yesterday car was supposed to be here at 7 30 this morning you know what time I received the car 11 a.m. 11 a.m. timeliness these people are on Swahili time so we said 7 30 a.m. so that we could have it for 9 a.m. and and we ended up still being two hours late so as, as in a this is a lose lose situation. So stop romanticizing moving to Africa. If you don't move to Africa, move to Africa. But baby, let it be because you know it's for you and you are in alignment with it and you visit it. Let's stop doing this stuff where we pack up everything and move to a place that we've never even visited so that we can I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what that is. I don't know what I don't know what that is. I don't know the reasons for that. I did not pack up everything and move over here to this country specifically, having not visited it. Okay, I visited Tanzania twice. There's a twice, twice, and I stayed here for quite some time. So yeah, convenience, professionalism, time, timeliness, customer service, for example, just nonsense. So I've had a couple of really weird experiences ordering food and in one situation I ordered something and they did not wrap it properly so there was a hole in it and all the, the food leaked out. So in another situation I ordered food um, without meat and started eating and realized that there was meat in it. Another time I ordered something and there was a bug in my food. In all of these situations, I've had Duca Direct, which is an ordering company here in Tanzania, tell me that I needed to give them back the food or hold the food for them to give it back to them. I was not given anything extra for my inconvenience, like I had to wait for them to redo it. In another situation, I told them several times, I don't want you to redo this. I don't want you to redo this food. Like, I'm done. I'm just going to go ahead and cook something. And they were like, no, we want to cook it for you instead of giving you a credit. Just give me the damn credit. In America, we would have had the credit. We would have had a meal on, on them. Refund and a meal on them. And an apology from the manager. Like, customer service. Okay? It's just stop glamorizing and moving to Africa because it's not, it's whatever you thinking that is, it ain't that. And another thing, 
stop letting YouTubers, I mean, I don't consider myself to be a YouTuber because I don't be on here like that, but stop letting them influence your mind. Stop believing everything you see on YouTube. Like, and true enough, there's some things that they told you on YouTube that were valid two years ago that's just not valid now. Like, housing prices, just not valid now. Oh, you can get a five-bedroom house for $200? Where? If you get in a house like that, you live in outside of the District 12. Okay? You are living out of town. And who wants to live out Who wants to come all the way out of town and live out of town? So stop believing everything these YouTubers say. Like, stop. These YouTubers are not your friend. Like, actually, like, get to know some of these people on a personal level. It's just stop being weird. Stop believing everything that you see on the internet. Because sometimes these people are speaking about their own personal situation. And other times, these people are lying. <laughs> Forgive me, but they're lying. Forgive me for being so blunt about it. But my goodness, there's no other way. They're lying. They're just lying. So, I like the power. Stay black. I'll see you next time. Peace.